What's important to understand is that simply rebuilding old schools should not be the starting point for the design project of a new school. There's a quote I've heard from Henry Ford that I think is quite appropriate. He said, if I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. That's not to say that what people say isn't important. It really is. It's just that as architects, our role as I see it is to look beyond the obvious. It's to question how and why we do things. It's the possibilities that should be explored and not the limitations. Key to any project, particularly education projects, is an understanding of how the building will be used. Not just now, but in the future. To ensure that any design is able to be flexible enough to accommodate future changes. At the community college in Whitstable we were very lucky, in that the school had developed a very clear architectural brief which was completely founded in their approach to learning and teaching. Based around the idea of three mini-schools, global, creative and logic, and the concept of project-based learning, the challenge for us as architects was how to support this very specific learning strategy. A large part of the project was refurbishment, and our approach has been to integrate the existing buildings in such a way that there is no noticeable difference between the new build and the refurbished elements. In fact, whilst it is undoubtedly more difficult for us as architects to work on projects with a large portion of refurbishment, I do believe that it also throws up opportunities that would not necessarily be there in a completely new build scheme. For example, at CCW, two of the three mini-schools are housed in existing buildings, and the staff expressed their aspiration that each of these should have a unique feel and identity. One of the key positives to come out of this need to be creative in the use of the existing estate is the central heart space. As an external space, this is the area where all the school community meet. Being located at one of the highest points in Bristol, there was an opportunity to maximise the views that this vantage point afforded. We did this by creating a rather unique solution to the boundary treatment. A ha-ha wall runs in a sweeping curve right across the front of the site linking the refurbished global school with the new build creative school. Drawing its influence from the timber groins which line this part of the coast, the low level of the ha-ha enables great views both into the heart space and out over the estuary. This drawing shows the existing buildings in red and the new buildings overlaid, so you can see from here how much of the existing structures we've actually taken away. This space in the centre becomes the heart, and by removing these two buildings here, you do suddenly get these fantastic views back to Whitstable itself. This is the Global School, the central food dining area here links the Logic School to the Global School, and here we have Creative sitting over on this side of the building. All three of the users are able to come together in this central space. Central to the design solution was the school's approach to project-based learning. Taking the Creative School for example, the plan form of the building is essentially very simple. It really works along the lines of a learning barn. Both the ground and first floor are open plan and the spaces are defined and identified through the use of furniture on the one hand and finishes on the other. Roots are created in the floor finishes which are mirrored in the ceilings. UI naturally links the two together and you effectively create zone space without the need for physical walls and divisions. Flexibility in space provision is key for any school. Over time, teaching and learning methods change and technology is constantly evolving. It is critical that our schools are able to adapt to these changes. Located within the space are glass pods. These are used to create breakout spaces, quiet areas and offices for students, staff and visitors. This learning zone concept is taken through into the refurbished buildings as well. Typically, schools were designed with up to 20% circulation. We've used this space to create additional teaching and learning areas. The centrepiece of the creative school is probably the debating sphere. Sat right in the middle of the learning spaces, the space anchors all of the different flexible spaces which surround it. The school were really keen that we provide an area where informal discussions, debates may take place. Um, hence the, the debate is there, it's split in two directions, it is top lit with natural daylight, there's projection facilities either side. Um, it's not a stair in the traditional sense, it's very much part of the learning space. The linking space between the old sports hall and the new creative school really acts as a transition. It's a transitional space between inside and out and new and old. 
Um, it's double height volume and it's vibrant colours, really try and give the space a dynamic. And also the, the seats which have been cut into the side walls are there to enable students to feel they can occupy. It's very much a student orientated space rather than a teaching space. But it does have the facility where you can do informal learning in that area as well. With this project we've been able to demonstrate there is huge potential in working with existing buildings. Innovative thinking and an approach which focuses on maximising potential of the existing rather than limitations can enable pupils, staff and the community as a whole to benefit. We provided a campus which tries to embrace the 21st century in terms of its use of technology, its incorporation of new and old buildings, remodelled landscapes and its extensive community facilities, which really would enable the school to be embedded and integrated into the heart of Woodstable.